and followers. This is the Apetabi Elosha. Hola Omi, Akala Tunde. And I am rushing out today. I have a very busy weekend this weekend. So just stepped out of my salt bath and have a couple of more tasks to complete before I leave the house. But um, I was meditating in my bath on those of us who choose to change ourselves, change our physical appearance, um, and what, what that means. And I find that to be sad when people choose to make very drastic changes or alterations to their physical appearance. And so I was meditating upon why, why I found that to be sad and why that hurt my feelings and why that's something that I don't find to be divine and holy. And I find it to be a product of the toxic society that we live in. So I was meditating upon why that is the case. And I began to come to the realization, which realization has to do with reality, that your soul, your spirit, is the seed of this physical body. And I've said this before, but I was just meditating upon what that means in every realm of your life. So your spirit grew this body so that you so that it could have this particular experience and it's continually growing this body because your body is renewed I think every 30 days you have a completely totally new body so your spirit continues to grow your body throughout your life but your spirit grew this body and this self this physical self for particular reasons so when you alter that you are in essence saying you know, um, I don't agree or I'm opposed to what my spirit is doing. And I think that whenever we move opposite of our essential selfhood, which is spiritual, then we move in the wrong direction. And we're moving and our movements are being dictated by something other than a deep love of self. So anything that causes you to mutilate or to... Um, attempt to not change in the way of not accepting your total and complete selfhood is something that's moving you away from self-love and self-acceptance. Your spirit, which is you, that's the essence of you, decided to grow this body, and this body is this gender, this body is this racial background, this body is this cultural makeup, which includes skin tone and facial features, nose and lips and eyes, hair texture, hair length, um, body shape, all of those things were chosen, hand-picked by your spirit to have this particular experience and to fulfill your destiny. So when you move outside of that essential selfhood, you're moving away from the fulfillment of your destiny. And these will be lessons that you'll have to learn some other way. So I think that part of, a major part of self-love is embracing self, all of self what this self looks like in this particular lifetime, the racial background, the cultural background of this self, the um, the body type, the body shape of this self, embracing that and loving that. What does that mean on this journey? The gender of this self. What it, why, What is the reason that your spirit chose to be born a woman in this lifetime? What is the reason that your spirit chose to be born a man in this lifetime? Not attempting to change it, but embracing it and gaining an understanding of what it means and how it was to how it is to propel you along this journey of life the reason for life remember is divinity you are here to become arisha you are here to become divine so what about this physical makeup is propelling you towards divinity because anything that's altering it is only a, an illusion it's something that's closing your eyes. It's something that's deluding you. It's something that's keeping you from your actual path. How, no matter how difficult that path may be. You may say, well, it's easier for me to walk this path if I'm altered. But the difficulties are what make you stronger, are what 
you know, sharpen you and what mold you down into exactly what you're supposed to be. So any alteration of your physical self is a deviation from the fulfillment of destiny. Completely and totally love and embrace and cherish and uphold this life experience in this body that looks like this and that carries these characteristics. I am, This is the experience that I'm having now. What can I do to embrace that? So that's my quick message for this morning. I've got to run. I literally have, you know, 20 or 30 things to do before the day is done. So I have to run. Peace, blessings, love to all. I pray that everyone is experiencing their portion of E-Ray at this time. All right. Peace.